Hello everyone, and welcome to another review-ish type thing. Um, first things first, I know it's been a long time since my last review. Um, when I had the, um, the last review was the, the Stray Red Frame, and I started off a new job. I was jobless for a while. And then I ended up getting a full-time job, and it's been taking up literally all of my time. And I've been so tired on my off days that I haven't been able to really do reviews, but... Here I am, finally doing another one. So why not do start up with something different? This is from one of the f very first animes I ever watched was Escaflone, and it was got into got me into the whole fantasy mech thing. And then watching Aura Battler done by and only increased my love for. It. And it's a shame because it's like the only two mecha series besides uh, I think Philosophon or something like that that does fantasy mechs, but I went to a, a local uh, sci-fi convention, and usually they have a table with figmas and stuff, but instead, there was none of that, and this is the only model kit in the entire con that was not Star Trek or Star Wars. Now, I love both. Star Wars more extent, but this is the only uh, model kit they have. And this is the Bandai Limited model of Alan Shazar's Guy Melif. Don't remember what he called it in the anime, so I got a reason to rewatch it. But I've never built one of these boards. I never thought Escaflone had in a model line. So let's take a look at the packaging. Um, of course, it's got Alan as Guy Melif. Not re not really much to see here. Besides. Mm, not really much to show. It's you got the same thing. Not all of it. Apparently, number eight in the series. Would love to get a hold of uh, the Landau Sky Melif and the Escaflone itself. And then a back shot of it pretty much just shows the model, and it doesn't look like it's got any joints. Fun. Well, let's take a look at the inside. Oh, and it's also a limited model high grade. Now, if I remember right, they have um. These are like really small, like 1144 scale of Gundam size model kits, and I'm going to be guessing limited model might mean like it has a limited range of motion to it. So let's open this guy up. I know they have Evangelion ones, and I actually have a mass production Evangelion one, which I'll be sure to show. Uh, so I'll start off with the instructions. Same picture on the box. And, wow, this guy is even more simple than a 144 scale gun, though. That's cool. And then on the back is painting applications, and it looks like it comes with a fabric. Fabric cloth on them, so that looks nice. Ah! Yeah, I'm really going to have to paint this. Let's take a look at the plates. This is like an unboxing video. <laughs> but, well, I was right. It's probably going to be the shiny part of this kit. It's made out of real fabric, yeah. Kind of like the, um, if anybody's got a Django Fett, uh, one of the old 3-inch Django Fett figures. Yeah, this is made from the same material. It's a bit stretchy. It's not bad. Maybe you could put it on a Gunpla. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Um, so it comes in... The plastic's actually pretty thick, so I think it's decent quality. It's actually thicker than, uh, most Master Grade kits. Wow, I mean... Check that out. Yeah. So it's just two plates and it comes molded in this really... It's the same color as a mobile gin actually. From Seed. But as you can see you're going to have to paint everything on here. And over here. Yeah you do not have any moving joints. So I was right about the limited motion thing. But here on this runner you actually have the sword. Eh, it's actually a good place to put it. Or you can bust it off the sprue. Easy to come off, but 
everything on here is pretty pretty damn thick. I mean, we try to. Uh, I'd have to take a piece off to show you, but with my camera set up, I can't really show a perspective of it. But best I can do. But bottom of the this is on the bottom of the feet, and man, so this guy looks like he's gonna be a brick. But after he's painted up to the best I can can, he'll probably look very nice. But it's gonna probably just be a display piece. I mean, he he does look like he has a little ball joint, so he can move a little bit, but. As the name suggests with the uh, LM Limited model, it's going to be a very limited articulated figure. So, even though I haven't built him yet, I will not recommend him to anyone that's that wants to pose their models. And only get this if you're a hardcore fan of Escafone, because stuff like this is very hard to find. I didn't, like I said, I didn't even know this existed. So, so yeah, this is just like the Dunby models. If you're not a hardcore fan of it, it's very easy to pass. So, that's my thoughts on this model kit, and we'll see what happens about what this guy will look like when I build him. I'll try to do a video of that, work permitting. So, until next time, I will catch you guys later, and let's hope that work doesn't keep me from doing more reviews. Peace out.